Hi, this is uh, Rob Mukai at a Coco Te Eco Inn in Ixcalac, Mexico again. Um, doing another fly tying video. Boy, this is the third in like two days. I'm on a roll. Anyway, uh, this fly we're going to do today is, uh, and I apologize to my uh, Swedish and Norwegian friends, but uh, this guy's called the uh, Red Striped Kuken, and that in Swedish is apparently a bad word. Um, anyway, uh, this is basically a, a permit fly. Um, one of our frequent guests, uh, UC Sjöland, had 11 out of 12 permit on this one fly when he was here um, in, in the spring of 2020. Um, things pretty dang effective. Um, I think, I mean, looking at it, it, it looks very similar to another pattern that's called uh, uh, Taylor's Beware. Uh, difference, I guess, would be just the, the colors and the size of this thing is, is very different. But uh, anyway, um, we'll get right to tying this bad boy. Uh, the hook is um, a size 2 uh, Gamakatsu SL11-38. Um, pretty heavy heavy duty hook and so we're going to put a pretty heavy duty um, bead on it as well but um, anyway to start off we're just going to cover the shank this time so we'll go up here and again about to the one third point between here and here you want to probably be about one third in and again, I'm going to use the quick method to tie it in. Alright, so I just did the figure eights and then go underneath it. The thread back to the back of the fly. So I'm super glue to this. So the body on this bad boy is um, dubbed with this. It is. Um, the SLF uh, saltwater blend, uh, dubbing blend in a tan. Um, I use uh, some dubbing wax, uh, what is this? Uh, this is like a hundred years old, but it still works. But um, makes life a lot easier for you if you just get a little of this dubbing wax on here. Then what I do is when I get the let's get a you know a little small clump like this and then just start kind of dabbing it, spreading it kind of evenly. Don't need to be real fat with it, but. Uh, just get yourself a you know, decent covering on the thread and then I basically just kind of spin it on from there. Make yourself a nice little rope of dubbing. And then and just start Winding it on. Let's see, I'll need a little bit more, looks like.
So at this point you just want to kind of dub to the back of the eyes here. And again, you kind of want a good taper. So now what we're going to do is we're going to throw in the legs. So these legs are tied in squimp style. Um, this is the leg. It's a it's a Wapsi brand, um, but yellow and red is kind of like the magic color here. So what we'll do is we'll cut off a couple of legs. And kind of tie them in crossways like this. So first one, just kind of wrap it in like this. And get the length adjusted right. And on this side. Again, just do it kind of loosely, and that way you can kind of move, move it around a little bit. All right, so that's kind of how we want this, and then. We can continue dubbing, so let's just go back to behind the eyes. And basically what we want to do is kind of figure eight around these legs, kind of keep them separated. And then on the top side, we want to go oops, over the top as well. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like we need more, more dubbing. You want to cover all that up. All right, so now we're going to use some tan craft fur. This, I'm almost done with this. It's amazing how much you can, how much you use of this stuff. But um, because this is going to have quite a long wing, we're going to take a few clumps of this. So, like, here's one clump, and maybe we'll do at least one more, maybe two more. And yeah, you can clean out the under fur on this. If you want, you can keep this as uh, dubbing. This is the dubbing we use for the Varuka's mantis shrimp. But, uh, anyway, we'll call this good. So this will be the wing. And you want it to go just past the hook by, I don't know, an inch or so. And that in. And 
just going to trim off the excess here. Now, the other piece of this is, uh, what is this? Some larva lace angel hair. This is uh, in gold. You only take just a, you don't need a ton of this, just enough to give it a hint of sparkle. I'll just grab, I don't know, you see how much that is? This, this may be even a lot. This is kind of a lot, but we'll kind of fold it over and then tie it on top. Then, just a touch more dubbing. Just to cover the nose. Then we can just finish. The other thing to do is you need to rough it up a little bit. So take your dubbing brush, make it buggy. So that's basically the fly. Now I guess we can trim some of this off. This is a little bit, uh, a little long. But we do have a couple more things we need to do. Um, these legs are going to be a little too long, so we'll just trim these back a hair. And then these are going to be a little too long too, so. And then the final touch is what gives this uh, fly its name, is putting on the red stripes. So on the wing, the easiest way to do this, I found, and, and this is using a red sharpie, is if you can pull the wing, I don't know if you can see that, pull it tight like that, you can actually go on both sides to put a, that red stripe in there. and then. Another one down here. Then it gets a little trickier down farther, but. Uh, and I do the same thing. You can lay it down too if you want. But anyway, so that is it. This the Red Stripe Kuken. And again, to anyone from Sweden or Norway that listens to this, I apologize. I, I guess it's a little bit uh, crude, but that's it. So, we do know that Permit will eat this. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, um, give it a try. Tie a few up for your next permit trip.